Hi guys, welcome back to the Taco Cave. Today I'm going to be talking about how to color titanium that could be used in applications from your real knobs to rock building parts or anything else made of titanium. If you guys don't know, titanium actually changes color when you heat it to different temperatures. So I'm going to show you some examples here. These are products you know I make but for something else entirely, not fishing. So this is a raw titanium type of finish. No heat treatment or any type of coloration done. Raw titanium. You got green, you got purple, and you got champagne or copper kind of color. So these are actually, you know, you use different temperatures to get a full coloration of one single color. So this actually, you know, it varies by the temperature you use and you'll get different colors. For today's video, I'm actually trying to get this, which is a kind of a black titanium spacer tube made by Matagi. Don't really have any raw titanium tubes lying around today, so I have to use one of these. I'm looking to get a rainbow color effect, you know, Sometimes you get them on knobs. Very good example of Relevery. They use titanium. A lot of their knobs are colored by heat. So I'm going to need to sand all this black stuff off here. And I'm going to need to polish it until it has a really shiny, nice finish. Clean it off, put it on the stove, and hope that I get different temperatures so I get different bands of coloration. I'm actually going to use this in the rod that I'm building here. It's going to be placed here. There's one piece here right now. So it's going to be rainbow here instead of black and I'm going to put one in front of the foreground over here so it'll give a nice you know popping effect to this run. So I'm going to go inside now, I'm going to sand this, I'm going to show you guys the process of how you're going to do this. I'm going to polish it as well but we'll just do that all in fast motion so you guys don't have to watch because it's going to take a little while. So it's nice and clean guys, all silver and shiny, got two done here, just need to clean them off. So yeah guys, we're back inside. If you look at these tubes after I've sanded them like you know from I think 100 grit to all the way to 2000 grit, then I've um, polished it with a metal polish, comes out quite clean and satin. The thing you have to remember before you actually put this on the stove and burn it at home, um, you have to remove all the surface oils and not contact the surface of it because you know, any residues or oils from your fingers it actually will leave your finger marks on it when you actually color the, the, the titanium. So you have to go home and you have to clean it with like isophrenic alcohol, maybe zippo fluid, something that has you know quite high purity. Like you know, don't use hand sanitizer or something like that because that's like 70% isophrenic alcohol. Best bet is go to the pharmacy, get some denatured, some ISO, clean it off. Make sure you don't touch it when you're doing this after that. Um, use pliers or something to hold it inside. Don't contact the surface of it. Ideally, I'm going to burn it using pliers, stuck inside like that, and I'm going to burn either end, so the coloration will go towards the middle. Hi guys, I'm back at home now. You can see there's the two tubes here. I'm trying not to touch them. I'm going to burn them on the stove. Got my pliers ready. I'm going to put them in like that and burn them. But I'm going to get the stove on and I'm going to do this in fast motion. This is going to take me like 10 minutes to do. So yeah, stay tuned. See guys, the color is kind of changing already. It's pretty fast. Don't know if you guys can see, but that's actually red hot right now. I think this is pretty cool. It translates from a kind of silverish rainbow all the way to the different colors. I'm just gonna put this one aside and do the other one. So yeah guys, this one's kind of done too. 
you didn't color it as much you can see the very distinct bending of colors so that's what I'm actually after so I'm going to turn the stove off and actually cool this down and get inside yeah guys we're actually back now and this is what we got so this part looks pretty cool it's like silverish to like you know a bit of rainbow to blue to purple to copperish brown you know back to bluish and purple and it's a bit of gold and you know a bit of kind of rainbowish silver here this one's a bit more eco you know it has a uh, banded so there's like you know a little bit of bluish tint to dark blue to purple to like copperish gold in the middle so that's actually how you burn your own titanium parts and get colors from them but the thing is what I learned from this, this is actually my third try I screwed up the first two didn't really like how it came out she liked this one a lot so I'm gonna use this on the rod instead so what I found out was actually that you know when you burn it you should actually put the the tips facing the stove so it burns up rather than putting the whole thing on the stove because then you can't really control what the heat is on the whole thing so yeah that's actually how you make your own titanium tubes guys so if you learned something today you know if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thanks